just before we start episode 131, I just want to point out, just over there, I may have built the world's greatest team. It's taken 12 years, 13 years, but we're actually on the route to Bundesliga. We're touching distance now. We've only got the eight games, six games, eight games still to play. And we are top of the league by four points. We're 12 points ahead in Nuremberg. We can afford to lose half of those games and we'll still get promotion to the Bundesliga. So I think it's on. Hi guys, it's your boy Chris here and welcome to episode 131 of the quest for 9 points. And the quest for 9 points is on. We've got to get to the Bundesliga and we've got to beat the grand total of 8 points at Tasmania Berlin set in the 65-66 season. And yeah, things are going majestically. When I last left you, we were we were fighting against Borussia Mönchengladbach. They were ahead of us at a point and we're neck and neck. They've dropped some points and we have went on an absolute tear through the division. I'll just show you the schedule. We were last year for the Union Berlin game where we beat them 1-0. We beat Bochum 4-2. We made a bit of hard work of it. Mohamed Inns put us in the lead. Then Samed Benson and Felix Horn got two back for them. It looked like we were going to drop points and... Michael Hankey got a penalty, Torjan middle drop, and then Axel Alter with the, what was effectively a winner, but it just like, sealed the sealed the deal for us. Then we played Hostin Kiel, beat them 3-2. Looks a bit closer than it actually was. It wasn't close, we outplayed them. Again, they went in the lead, we equalised, they went in the lead, then we equalised, and then Kiro Strumbo getting the goal, decent header. And then went to go for fourth. And we beat them 1-0. Again, it looks closer than it actually was. I think we had something stupid like um, 68% possession or something. We, we just really did try to set up to stop us playing. We had something like 23 shots. Yeah, they weren't in the races at all. Then we went to Energy Al. And we beat them. Mohamed Ince. And again, they set up exactly the same way as go for fourth. It was a little bit closer in possession-wise and stuff, but... They didn't offer much. So we're playing St. Pauli today, who are fourth in the league. And yeah, yeah, I may have over-egged the, the situation at the beginning of the video. This is a hard run. We've played all the easier games. We've got St. Pauli, who are fourth. We've got Ingolstadt, who got relegated. They're, they're eighth, but we got relegated from the Bundesliga. Then we've got Amelia Belfield, who are sixth. Then we've got 1860 Munich at seventh. We've got Bruce Hamilton and Gladbach at our second. Then we've got Hanover at our fifth. Nuremberg at our third. And then Carl Stewart's 15th. So, out of these remaining eight games, we will be lucky to get those four point wins that we need to get promotion. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm good at over exaggerating the situation. We are playing St. Pauli, who on a decent tier herself, they got promoted the year we got promoted, and yeah, they've been playing better than us um, over the last couple of seasons, but we we were hanging in there, and, and at the moment we are playing better than them, we've got a 10 point gap between us and Nuremberg, so that's that's positive, and we're going to select team, and Kreft is suspended, so we're going to go for Virginia and goals, Punto, Strumbo, Aman, Alec, and then Bompart, Mohamed Ince in the middle, and Althar, and then Ferreira, and then Middendorp, and then Music up front. And it's hit, hit or miss between him or Hanky up front because Hanky's not really in form. I began um, stating a, a few wee runner up front, but um, just a young Turkish lad. But yeah, nobody's scoring really up there. Don't think it really matters who we play up there. So, what are we going to say to them? Let's do it, boys. We're favourites. We're not favourites. St. Pauli beat us 99% of the time we play them. So, we've had a lot of humpings from uh, St. Pauli the last couple of times. So, we're going to a good run. Go and impress me. Our faith. 
have faith. Uh, I have faith. There we go. A ton of, I hate these tunnel interviews. They always ask stupid. Absolutely, who cares? Let's talk about the eleven players. It's an undoubtedly tricky fixture. Saint Pauli with her brown strips. Yep, yeah. it's one of the iconic strips of world football, isn't it? The Saint Pauli strip. There's not many teams playing brown. It's like Celtic with the green and white stripes, or Milan with the black and red, and the Inter with her blue and black stripes. Yeah, so it's really is one of the, the classic strips in world football. One of those strips where you look at and go, there's only one team really playing that colour. Oh, <gasps> music with a goal! And that's music to my ears. Boom! That is classic music. Bompart. Oh, he's been a sensational. We're trying to get Bompart and Oh, that is a thunderbolt. But yeah, if I can get Bompart to sign another year on loan, I think he is Bundesliga class. Virginia with a goal kick. It's a lovely goal kick right up, but to nobody in particular. Middendorp. Oh, I thought we were going to have it as a counter. Oh, right in the between the defenders. That was great play, to be honest, from our forward. <laughs> Got my two defenders to bump into each other. And I looked in. That was uh, attacking 101. And oh, these guys are coming into the game. As I say, St. Paul, yeah. I've been playing above her ability for the last couple of seasons, so. Music. De Pinto. Bumpart. Out hard. Oh, and that's what he does best from the edge of the area. Like the Hans Fisher of this side. Yeah, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> He's a good bit better than Hans Fisher was, but I miss Hans Fisher. He was a brilliant player for his time. One of these players that just played above his ability, a man who's in the squad for the first time for a little while in the starting lineup. Music tries to play it to himself, but gets played off. And Glasgow, again, what a save by Virginia. West Virginia, mountain higher, higher. I don't know that song. Country roads. Yeah, well, not going to sing. Oh, and Music looks like he's dead, but 71%. I wonder if he's taken a wee knock. Happy with performance. Keep it up. Right, go. Mohammed in to Alec. The music drops below 60% again. Well, eh, 60, 70% again. Well, we'll hook him. He's got a bruised ankle. He's playing reasonably well. Shouts, let's get creative, let's try and sneak a goal through them. Mohamed Ince is complacent, I don't like that about the players. Uh, Grasgow has caused us nothing but problems in the last few years. Um, right, what we'll do is we'll, we'll go for a, a, a crazy move. We're going to go defensive. This has been working fairly well the last few games. We've just been switching to this. Sort of four three two or the three five one, whatever way you want to call it, and then we're just swapping. Ferreira's coming off. Ferreira Roche is coming off for Engler. Strumble can go in the middle because he's the strongest of the three defenders, and then Middendorp can come off. Middendorp playing reasonably well. He's not. Or sat in, and then Hanky can all on for music, and that'll do. And it might be a bit of a risk going defensive airway, but these are a, this is a good side, they're capable of scoring. Yeah, very good. We're gonna, we're gonna demand more, we're gonna, we're gonna risk it. Oh, focus, it's worked apart from a man who's nervous. And, yeah. Not much. Alec is struggling. 
but it's just been fast and furious the games the last couple of weeks. Have we got time for a highlight? Pinto, actually to one of our players, to Ince, to Sahin, to Hanky, and Hanky's running. Oh, would that be a nice play through? Blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle. Oh, oh, that's the really job done. But this, if we get a goal, this is what I've been doing. I've just been switching to this defensive tactic and it's really been working. I think the 4 3 3, 4 5 1, whatever way you want to look at it, the, the, the way we've been playing the last, usually, has been working really well. Well done, lads. Um, as long as you've got good players to, to play with it, it works and it's been shown. We've worked, played with it most of the time through this save and when we've had the really, really good players, it's really, really worked. We've had the not so good players, that it's hit and miss. So the key is to have proper good players but that um, defensive tactic is just working a treat to close out games. So just long may that continue but that was an absolutely fantastic win. Especially, oh, Bruce I'm wasn't glad back I've <laughs> I've drawn as well. A Nuremberg have drawn. Oh. Woo! We're on fire now. Right, I'll see you shortly who we're playing next. I think we're playing the big boys. Schedule. We're playing Ingolstadt, so I'll see you soon. They were our feeder team at one point, so I'll see you in the, in the future for that. So welcome back for the Ingolstadt 04 game. And yeah, after this game, we've got 23 days. I don't know what's going on. So we we'll play Amelia Belfield in uh, 23 days after this. I don't know when I'll come back after that. I'll be, we'll probably play the next maybe one or two games and then come back for the run in, the final run in for the season. Um, Borussia Much and Gladbach actually lost, uh, drew their game against Colston Hill. Uh, Colston Hill? That's not easy to say. Absolutely brilliantly. So we can go for it today and try and get the remaining Welcome back for the FC Ingolstadt 04 game and uh, Bruce and Munch and Gladbach actually drew their game against Holst and Kiel so if we can win this that'll be another two points ahead of them um, we've got 23 ga days till the next game which is absolutely ridiculous for some reason but I don't know why I think it's international breaks the German Pokal and so on and so forth so I don't know why there's 23 days it seems an awful long time so this is the last game in March and what I'll do is I'll play the next two games after this game depending on the result and I'll come back if we can win the title or get promotion or vice versa so it'll be quite exciting so this is the 7th last game of the season and Strumbo is injured unfortunately that he got an injury in training He's out for um, six weeks. But the way things are working, my physios aren't that good, so it could be shorter. So I'm going to bring in the main man, Kreft. And everyone else, if you're doing okay, get Ince out and get Alizette in. And Ince on the bench. Music played reasonably well. He's back to full fitness. Right, we're just going to go for it. Oh, who's what an Alec? That's a bit worrying. Harover. I oh, feel smaller than us now. Right, let's go for it. Hopefully we'll win this. We've got, got a few attempts, a few points ahead. We'll still be five points ahead if we do lose this, so it's not, not the end of the world, but I'd like to not lose um, our favourites. Would you say our favourites against Ingle Strat? We've just got relegated from the Bundesliga. We've been on a good run. Go out. Let's have faith. Faith and Faith. There we go. I hate having to click that three times, but I suppose that's why it's an individual team talk. Um, that's a session city bar. Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, I guess we ever just go away and just let me play the game. Oh, the unlucky blue socks. We can't play. With a white top and the unlucky blue sock. Oh, it's always white. Pure white. And pure blue. It's the way to go. How is it? Unlucky, but you're never going to score, mate, when I've got the unlucky blue socks on. We've got the blue 
out with blue strip and the and the blue socks on were fine. If we got the white top and the white socks were fine, but yeah, either way, the blue with the white or the white with the blue, we just we just never win. It's like the curse of the blue socks. I don't know how they make us favourite for this. Oh, penalty! No, home part Ferreira, Ferreira Roche. Here he comes. He's been. Oh, there's music to Ferreira. He's given the... Oh, Middendorp! Music! And that's music to my ears. Oh! He's not been playing well this season. Hanky's winning the goals, I think. Oh, boom. But music's trying to catch up with him now. He's got seven now. Hanky's got nine. But hanky has been playing absolutely awful since he agreed to join Intract Frankfurt. Probably because he's realised he's made the wrong decision because we're going up and they're not. Especially after that goal, that was a that could be an important goal. But Althard I think scored more of them as well. Yeah, we don't want. Oh come on! I hate when it does that pitch. Did I click it? Did I not? Alec likes a, a red card, so we don't like him on a yellow card, so... Muddendorp. Oh, he was greedy there. Music was in a better position. He just needed to slide the ball to him. Hein. A yellow card, and here come Frankenberger. Oh, went past him like he wasn't there. Oh, what a stop by Punte. Punto, even. Punto. Punto. Pinto. Oh. Getting my cars and my footballers mixed up. Hi. How is it? It's been booked. Fired up. Let's, let's demand more. Let's, let's try and match them with fired up feedback. I'm tempted to go defensive now, but. Might be a mistake against Ingolstadt. Team talk. Assertive. I'm happy. Keep it going. Yeah, if you're lucky, the curse of the yellow blue, the yellow sock, the blue socks might might still hit. Oh, Barreto. Oh, Virginia likes a cat. She likes to come out for them. And he doesn't drop much. Music to himself again. He likes a header into space when there's nobody. Need to teach. Oh, Ozar. Oh, Virginia clasps it. Let's get creative. Let's go for it. Let's. Fairly well. Alright, do we try and go defensive and try and hold out for a draw? Or do we just go for it? Ooh. It's decisions, decisions. Right, let's, let's, let's pause it, let's do it now. And if it backfires, it's my fault. There we go. Right, Ferreira's coming off. Ferreira Roche, where is he? He's hiding from me in defence. What's he doing back there? Engler's coming on. We're going to put Kreft in the middle because he's the better defender. And then we're going to go... Middendorp's coming off because he's just been a greedy man. And Hanky's coming on to join his pal Music. And we'll keep it going. Have went defensive early. I don't know whether this is a mistake or not. One part struggling. We'll maybe make a sub in a minute. 
Time for the old time wasting sub. Eedy beedy mighty boat. Mabadins. Bom bomb part. Is he struggling? There we go. That should take a minute. And it does. And it's a throw in. Fail. Pinto with an actual decent header. You saw it there. He actually headed the ball in the right direction, not to an opposition player. I think the curse of the Blue Sox has finally been destroyed. That was a great win. Well done. I can feel the title. This is a procession to the title. Yeah, we've got me I've got memories of a year we won the North East North coming back when Borussia Tennis Berlin threw everything at us to try and get back a 12 point lead and they almost did. We won it by one point in the last game of the season. In fact, everyone else had played their games and we had to win. No, we had to draw to get the to get the title. And we did, we got one point. And it was we went 2 0 up. And then they came back 2-2 and we were holding on for a, a draw. Otherwise they went to Borussia Tennis Berlin. So memories of that are coming back. We've got eight points with six games to play. Our maths are right. Six times three is 18. So 18 points to play. Eight points ahead. And we're 15 points ahead. Of St. Pauli, so we could technically win it and uh, get promotion in the next two games. So what I'll do is we'll just play, record the next two games, and see if we can win promotion. And then I'll show you closer to the time when we win the title. All right, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.